This lesson is on uh, perpendicular bisectors of a line segment. So the perpendicular bisector of a line, I'm just going to quickly draw a coordinate grid here. So if I have a line segment that goes, oh, I should put a scale on. So I have two, four, two, four, negative two, negative four, negative two. If I have a line segment that goes from, so this is four, negative three. We'll make that point B and point A can be This is negative one, four. So I have, this is my line segment. A perpendicular bisector is a line that is perpendicular to this line and goes through the midpoint because it bisects it. Bisect means cut in half. So it is a line that is perpendicular to this line and goes through the midpoint or cuts it in half. So although this isn't exact, um, if we have uh, the midpoint could be approximately there, the perpendicular bisector is the line that cuts this one in half, cuts the point line segment AB in half, and is the slope is perpendicular to it. So if we actually wanted to find that, um, then the first thing we should do is find the midpoint of AB. So midpoint formula, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So I'm going to label my coordinates. And this is x2, y2, and I'm going to substitute in. So I have minus 1 plus 4 divided by 2, and I have 4 plus minus 3 divided by 2. So I have minus 1 plus 4 is 3 halves, and 4 plus uh, negative 3 is 1, which is one half. So it's one half, or sorry, three halves, one half. So it's about 1.5 and then about 0.5. So it's actually, I'm off slightly. Um, the midpoint is actually somewhere around here. So that's where the true midpoint is. So if we want to find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to AB, and goes through the midpoint. So we have the midpoint, but we don't have the slope. So we need to have the slope of AB, and once we calculate the slope of AB, then we can use that um, and get the perpendicular slope to then create the equation of a line. So the slope of AB, so that's little m, as opposed to big M, big M is midpoint, big M midpoint, little m slope. So equals, we have x2 minus x1, sorry, it's y2 minus y1. x2 minus x1. So y2, we have minus 3. Um, and y1 is 4, minus 4. And that's divided by x2, which is 4, and uh, y1 is negative 1, so minus minus 1. So minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7. And I have 4 minus minus 1, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5. So if we look here, that actually does make sense. We have a slope that is going down and to the right, so that should have a negative slope. And although our slope isn't um, what you would say is a nice slope, but it's a fraction and, and there's no problem with that. We can work with that to find the equation of this line here. So if we know that 
um, the slope of AB is negative 7 over 5, then we can determine the slope of this line would be the negative reciprocal of negative 7 over 5. Um, it would be, so um, I'm just going to come over here. So the perpendicular slope, I'm going to use this is the negative reciprocal, so that means I flip the fraction and change the sign, which is 5 over 7. So that is the slope of my perpendicular line. So I've got the slope here, and I've got the point here, and from these two I can actually create the equation of the line. So I'm going to do that um, on the next slide. Um, so um, then we can determine the equation of the line. So from the calculations we've already done, we know that the perpendicular slope is 5 over 7, and we have the midpoint, which is 3 halves and 1 half. So we know the equation must have a slope of 5 over 7 and must go through the point 3 halves, 1 half. So we have y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to substitute in my slope. So I have y equals, my slope is 5 over 7, and I have, um, sorry, 5 over 7 x plus b. The only other thing that I need to find is the y-intercept, which is here. So two things I need for any equation of a line is the slope and the y-intercept. We have the slope. Now all we need to do is find the y-intercept. And how I'm going to do that is substitute in my x and y coordinates into here and here, and solve for b. So y is 1 half. Um, we have 5 over 7. My uh, x coordinate is 3 halves. That does not look like a 7. This is a 7 plus b. So I have 1 half equals uh, 3 times 5 is 15 over 14 plus b. I'm going to rearrange, so I have 1 half minus 15 over 14 equals b. So I'm going to come up here to solve, and um, what that means is, is I have to find common denominators. So my common denominator here will be uh, 14, so I have to multiply 1 half by 7, so I'll have um, 7 over 14 minus 15 over 14 is b, and 7 minus 15 is uh, minus 8 over 14. So I can simplify this by dividing by 2, so I have minus 4 over 7 equals b. So therefore my equation is y equals my slope of 5 over 7, and my x and my y-intercept is minus 4 over 7. So this here is my equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. Okay, so now it's your turn. So what I want you to do is determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector through the line segment, I have A, 1, 2, and B, 7, 10. So what I'd like you to do is to pause and uh, see what you can do, um, and then uh, press play again to find out how I've solved this. One of my... Uh, kind of hints or one of the strategies that's always good is to graph the line segments uh, or graph the points and, and determine what the line segment is so that when you're going through your calculations you can check to see if what you've done makes sense based on the graph. 
Okay, so I've uh, just graphed um, what the situation is. So we have the line segment AB, uh, which is defined by the endpoints of 1, 2, and 7, 10. And if we want to find um, the equation of the perpendicular bisector, um, the, it will, the perpendicular bisector will look something like this, and I'm not saying that this is 100% correct. Um, of course, it's based on um, some not-so-perfect graphing. So it'll look something like this, where this is, whoopsie, um, perpendicular. So I'll fix that line to make it a little bit nicer. So again, this is perpendicular, and it goes through the midpoint. So what we should expect is that we have um, a line segment that will have, uh, or sorry, an equation of a line that will have a negative slope. This has a positive slope, so this will have a negative slope. And it will go through somewhere about here. So the first thing we should do is we should find the midpoint. So my midpoint, which is capital M, um, and this is x1, whoops, y1, and I have x2, and y2, so x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, and that will give me, I have 7 plus 1 divided by 2, and I have 10 plus 2 divided by 2, so that is 8 over 2 and 12 over 2, and so my midpoint is at 4, 6. So that is, again, I was just a little bit off. Um, so it's about right there. So I'm close. I just, my line segment AB isn't perfect. So then the next thing I will have to do is calculate my slope of line segment AB and uh, use the perpendicular slope to um, find the equation of the line. So, um, let's see if we can get the slope calculation on this page. So slope, which is little m of AB. So we have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is we have 10 minus 2. And then I have 7 minus 1. So I have... Um, you know, come up here, I have 8 over 6, which is equal to, uh, divide everything by 2, I will have 4 over 3. So there's my slope, so my perpendicular slope will have to be negative, and it will be negative 3 over 4, it's the negative reciprocal. And so um, if I'm just looking here and I extend my line, I'm expecting that my y-intercept to be around 9, but we just need to confirm that by uh, fin finishing off our calculations for the equation of the line, which we'll do on the next, um, next slide. So here we again, we have our perpendicular slope, which is negative 3 over 4. We have the point 4, 6, and I need to find the um, equation of the line um, with a slope of negative 3 over 4 going through the point 4, 6. So equation of a line, two things we need are the slope and the y-intercept, m being the slope, b being the y-intercept, so what I can do, I've already got the slope, which is negative 3 over 4. And what I will need to do now is figure out what the y-intercept is. And I can use this point here, because I have an x and a y-coordinate, and I can substitute that in for x and y. So x, x, y, y. And I can solve to find b. So 6 equals negative 3 over 4 times 4 plus b, so 6 equals negative 12 over 4 plus b, 6 equals negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3, I'm going to add 3 to both sides, so 6 plus 3 is 9, 
minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so 9 is equal to b. So I am not finished because I do not have an equation yet. I actually have to write the equation out. So the equation of my perpendicular bisector is y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 9. And if you look back to the uh, graph that I drew, that seems about right. So um, one of the big things that I want you guys to realize is that when you are writing an equation of a line, um, you have a slope and a y-intercept. Here is my slope, here is my y-intercept, and your question is not complete until you have written out your equation. So therefore, the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y equals minus 3 over 4x plus 9. All right, so hopefully now um, you feel comfortable coming up with the equation of a perpendicular bisector of a line segment.